Yeah, I tell this story. The first game I ever worked <clears throat> was called Stunt Island, and it came on floppy disks. <laughs> if anybody remembers those. And I did, I think, nine lines, and the producer said, that's all we have room for, are nine lines. And to think, that was a, so maybe 92, 91, 92, and to think what, what it encompasses today, it's just astonishing. I hear a lot of performers complaining about throat-ripping voices in a, uh, sessions that that take their toll. I've been very fortunate. I'll tell you what I, I do is if I at all sense that some voice I'm doing is causing me pain, uh, I don't care how much they love it. I'm going to say, sorry, guys, I can't do this on a sustained basis, uh, so don't even consider me. Uh, or I just won't get in that trap. Uh, and I, I've been lucky. Most of what I've done has not not been really any kind of a strain on, on my voice. Uh, I've never done more than a four-hour session for one of these games. Um, well, I, I did the Codex Narrator in, um, oh gosh, now I'm forgetting, forgetting the name of the show. Uh, well, it's a, a long narration job, and, and that encompassed a number of sessions. But, um, the weirdest part about it is that you're saying lines with no context because it depends on what the player does. They need a line to cover some action the player may or may not do. So it's not as though you're doing a scene where you're having a fight with somebody or wh whatever it is. You're just doing these isolated lines. And in some cases, the, the person directing isn't even sure what's going on. And so you have to sort of make a little story up in your head to support the, uh, to support the line reading. It's a, it's a very odd, uh, odd way to work. And then you do the thing and you go away and you forget about it. And somebody buys the game and plays it obsessively for days and weeks and their voice, dr or your voice, drills into their brain. And they come to a convention and they say, I've always wanted to meet the, the actor who did uh, Colonel Drog in something or other. And I go, what are you talking about? I'm, well, you were Colonel Drog. And so, I was? You don't remember? Well, no, because it was four hours six years ago. <laughs> Do you remember a specific four-hour period six years ago? But, of course, to them, this game took over their lives for for, for weeks on end. <laughs> You've become a huge part of their life and you don't even remember doing the session. It's the oddest thing.